Hello everyone, my name is, is Jinsa, and welcome back to this war of mine. So in the last episode we had Pal who was depressed, but uh, Amelia was talking through it, you know. She's very hungry and we actually don't have a lot of food. Actually we have no food. Um the thing the more every seriously, like every time I play this game I get just a wave of emotions and it's I don't know man I mean like it's just something that about this game that it's very evocative and it's very um, compelling inspiring it's just awesome and it's for in its own right so I think what I th I think what I'll do is <coughs> I'm gonna wait till like um Hmm. He's recovering, so... Oh, someone's at the door. Get up. Get up. You need to get up. Ah, oh, she went to sleep. Oh, never mind. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. Okay. So, like... I was gonna wait till this guy actually recovers, pal. But, um... That's probably what I'm gonna do. This guy's like about to die from starvation. Is the only problem. See, here's my dilemma here. So like, I don't want to leave him on guard because I don't want him to die, like raiders to kill him. Uh, please listen to me. Uh, hold. I'll hold off on that thought. Real quick. We live several blocks from here. We saw that you took refuge in this building. And since we're supposed to be neighbors, we decided to pay you a visit and say hello. We brought some vegetables from our garden. Hey, yes. Thank you. Wow, that it's like a blessing just occurred. Alright, so this guy's really gotta go eat. Like, now. He's really gotta go eat. Can I possibly make a... Uh, let me go see if I can cook us up some... Uh, let me see if we have water. We don't have, even have water, that's sad. We have like nothing. Again, as always. Every time I play this game, I have like absolutely nothing to show for it. Yeah, I can't really make anything. He's gotta eat like... At least three. And then he's gonna go back to bed. Just better than nothing, bruh. I have to get this guy to not. Still starving? Go sit down for a second. And you're gonna go eat. Because you need to eat too. Actually, I'll have her eat and then I'll have her sleep. And then he'll just rest for the rest of the night. And then hopefully there won't be any trouble going on late at night. He's gonna have the last bit. She's gonna go over here. Actually, she's gonna go up to sleep. He is going to go sit down, and then we're going to call it a night. No, he's going to guard. Might not be the best idea, but uh, I'm really screwed any way you look at it, so hopefully nothing bad happens. What could they have possibly taken from us? I didn't even know we had that stuff. We did not have that stuff. We have nothing. Look at this. Look at this. We have nothing. We actually have nothing. And 
and this guy's crying. God, this is like a creepy pasta, man. Like, no joke. All right, we have to scavenge. There's like no other option. All right, so where do we scavenge though? Um, it's an old villa in a rich neighborhood. I may as well go balls deep and try to get everything I can. I need like, uh, I don't even know what I need. I need everything. That's what I need. Alright. We're going to the construction site. It's very dangerous, apparently. It's very dangerous. You know, I have to go for it. I have to. I have nothing. Look at that. I have actually nothing. Okay. This might be, uh... The, devel the developer promised the apartments would be finished no matter what. Alright, I gotta get a huge haul if I want to even think about surviving. Um, oh, we got vegetables, surprisingly. Alright. Let's uh, proceed with caution. This place has like bandages, maybe. All right, so far so good. <coughs> All right, uh, some parts. That's always that's always good. All right. I don't see anyone here. They said it was dangerous, but I don't see anyone. Okay. Uh, ooh, medicine. What is this? Shell caches. That looks important, so I'll have it. I get like I have to get like a, a diverse I have to get a diverse amount of materials, not just pick up all the wood here and parts in there. That doesn't really help that much. Food does. Gunpowder could be helpful. And that's it. Let's keep going, I guess. Um Is this a elevator? I think it's an elevator. Okay. There's people on the top floor. Oh dear Neptune, this is gonna take an eternity. Oh my god, no, it's gonna take so long. Goodness, that's gonna take so long. Oh, I can zoom out, that's awesome. So I think, like, I don't know how I'm supposed to get up there. Obviously, that's a like an elevator shaft. <coughs> I don't know, we'll see what happens. I think I might be able to get over there. I don't know what these guys are talking about. I think they're looking... Probably... I don't know. No. Uh, come on, Amelia. Hurry up. That's the thing, like... I could've made a... I, I made a shovel a couple episodes ago. I got... Like, wrecked. Like, they took my shovel and I was mad. I was actually in a good position a couple episodes ago. And... Now, look at that. Look, I like have almost nothing. What am I supposed to do? I don't have a lot of much. I don't have much time left, so I have to hurry. 
Let's go peek through first. Just make sure I don't like fall off. Alright. Um how am I gonna do this? Can we jump? Can. Awesome. Well, I just wasted time there. Alright, go, 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 go. Those guys have guns, and that's not good. Hurry, hurry, hurry. That helps me, like, not a lot. That doesn't help me at all. Can I go through here? Yes, I cannot. Oh, shit. Alright. Run to exit. Go, go, go. Get out of there, Beret. I know, get out. Uh, there were two of them. I don't know where the other one went. I think I should be good. Alright, I think I'll be good. So that wasn't really successful scavenge at all, but... <clears throat> at this point, anything is good. So... Hopefully, Palv didn't commit suicide when we were when I was gone, or we didn't get. I mean, they couldn't even raid anything, so it's like I should have been safe. I hope if, if there was a raid, the worst thing that could have happened is they killed Palv. have anything so they could <sighs> that's so sad oh my god man So sad, oh my god, dude. Ugh. She's broken. I think that means like there's no way she's she's gonna respond to my commands. Like she won't eat, yeah. Ah oh, dude. There's not like she won't respond to any of my commands. Should I just end the day? That's all I can do, really. Oh, God. I don't think... I don't think this next day is gonna be... good. So that was uh, this war of mine. Obviously, there's an ending to the game, but I didn't make it. That was that was like 
That was bitter. Oh, jeez. Even seeing these pictures. Oh, God. Well, that was this war of mine. And... I don't know. That was, um... For all these efforts, Marco was rewarded with a shallow grave. Maybe his wife and daughters will find it, find it someday, and on condition that they manage to survive the persecution themselves. Bruno left the shelter one night. He was trying to reach his friend and got shot while attempting to slip between army units. Uh, the only thing that kept Hal going was the hope of seeing his son again. Having lost that hope, Hal did not want to carry on a convincing <coughs> Broken by the horrors of war, Emilia slit her wrist. As the blood flowed from her veins, she thought about her murdered sisters and father. She would she would see them again soon. Well that's war for you guys. See, these kind of games deserve way more recognition than they do. For sure. When I first saw this game, when I first saw, like, the trailer, and I saw the description, it blew me away from, it, just from the fact that it's a survival per game, and it gives you a fresh perspective of war through the eyes of the survivors, rather than what you would uh, traditionally see, like, soldiers, your soldier fighting, but this is, it's just, this is, Ugh, this is as messed up as fighting in a war. In a war, in a re in reality, war doesn't like <clears throat> everyone suffers from war. It doesn't matter who you are, and like the post-war dream obviously doesn't exist in my in my I think. But um. This was this war of mine, and it was a great game with the feels and with the uh, management and the survival. It was just a very unique game, and I really like it. Great indie game. So, again, thank you guys for watching this war of mine, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.